thinking of a strategy for collecting the innocents inside Vittorio's sword. Try thinking? <laughs> you giving me orders now? Of course. Oh, wow. Sorry, Kyle. <laughs> but right now your brain is your best asset. So oh, my God. That. Tired of waiting to see the next episode reaction? Why not join the Patreon? You can gain access to reactions that have been uploaded weeks in advance before they land on YouTube. Most of all, you can watch the full-length versions without the annoying copyright filter and subpar audio for just $5 a month. If you want to take your loyalty even further, you can watch our non-animated related reactions as well as submit requests for just $10 a month. So stay ahead of the curve and help us sustain the brand. Thank, Thank you. you. Yo, what's going on you guys? It's your boy RBG, aka The Random Black Gamer. Here with my lovely wife, Jenna Lee, on the ones and twos, and this is We Ain't Seen The Reactions, the place where we react to everything that we ain't ever seen. And guys, our boy Lobby has become such a hot commodity that Johnny has been inspired to wear her own scarf just like he wears up in D. Gray Man, which is what we're gonna be reacting to. Another D. Gray Man reaction, y'all. You already Sam know what time cosplay. it is. Right? She got the hipster scarf on, which doubles as a neck brace. <laughs> Yeah, you know if y'all have noticed, well, on Patreon, because I think we upload an order on Patreon. Yeah, I the last few reactions, I've been sitting here like this, holding my neck and just losing my mind, but trying to be there anyway. And finally, this came from Amazon, which my neck seemed to be getting better, but still was bothering me. And so I decided to put this on. Yeah, man, you know, you got to give kudos to Janet for soldiering through everything that she's going through, man. You know what I'm saying? I always try to make I sure. I work a full eight hours and do this. So. Exactly. You know, so if you guys have any problems with us being a little late, bear with us, man. You know what I'm saying? Especially bear with my lovely wife over here, man, because she got her own stuff she got to deal with, man. Especially when she's going through a little pain and stuff on her neck. But, yeah, the last time we left off, I think we came to an epic conclusion on the last arc, which revolved around the Lethal Revival, or what was said to be the Lethal Revival, which is basically just uh, innocence disguised in a tree or hiding in a tree and just keeping anybody who wanted to grab it away from it, you know what I'm saying, by using these powerful gusts of wind. And old Granddaddy Greed was trying to have it for himself so he could save his son who had passed away in a damn house fire. Yeah. He was about to sabotage the whole mission. He trying was. Trying to get the damn innocents back. Like, like, what's wrong with you, sir? Exactly, man. And Are then, you working for the enemy? Hey, you might be, man. Sometimes you just don't know, especially with the stuff now. Like, everybody potentially being a Akuma in disguise and stuff of that nature. Like, the last three Akumas that they fought were basically like these three hikers or whatever that consisted of a woman and two guys you know what i'm saying and they ended up combining or something like mm -hmm. that and shooting all kinds of like aerial attacks and shit i don't know man it was crazy man but i have just been enjoying this thus far man Didn't especially we move on to the next part about that crazy dude who was a thousand years old crazy dude that was a thousand damn I'm, i don't know why my brain is so fuzzy yeah i think we moved on to the next arc where it was like a dude who had to fight to oh, win the princess. Yeah. We had been past the Leaf of Revival, y'all. I just realized that. I don't know why, guys. Don't pay me no mind. Yeah, it was a dude that had and innocence in his armor. Head. And he was fighting my boy, um, Conda. And, you know, he was beating him. He was beating the shadow of Conda because this guy, he's immortal because of the Conda innocence. Conda had actually killed him, but since he has the innocence in his armor, he kept coming back to life. Yeah, kept regenerating right. everything. Yeah, man. Sorry about that, guys. Well, you know, you got, you got a you brief got a recap. You got a double recap, right? <laughs> So, without further ado... Yeah, let's go ahead and jump into this, guys. Once again, I've taken the liberty of pre-recording these so we don't have to watch on any bad quality. Because Funimation's site is still being a dick. So, let's go ahead and jump into this. Oh, yeah, you got the little Lita thong. Right. He's too stubborn to die. You know I don't die easily. I can see that. Sheesh. This thing is a force of nature. He like he could fit in well in JoJo. With his outfit. Right. Like he'd belong with like Whamu and... Right. One of the pillar men. Yeah. God damn, none of this shit looks making it look like it's just oil paper or something. 
Unfortunately, anti-Akuma weapons can only take so much damage. How did he get that sword in the first place? Can we somehow get his weapon away from him? No, that will do nothing to stop him. Why? He is... He has been enslaved by the innocents, both body and soul. Mm. Enslaved? Yes. We have no idea where Vittorio could have gained access to a sword. Yeah, I think I take for granted how powerful innocence is and the influence it has. Using only his will, like an accommodator would be able to, so he actually needs that sword. You better do something, you better take that shit off. I don't think he can. Innocence. Pippi Long Stockings! Ooh, I like that. <laughs> she tried, she really did, and she got smited. The princess. Mm -mm. Claudia, it's you. Wait, did this man take you hostage? No one can make me go back. You can try all you want, but I'm staying right where I am. Please give a message. To that thong is. <laughs> who who drew that? Them I will never return. Wait a minute. This isn't. Claudia, come back! <laughs> Stay back, boy. As G check your ass one more good time. Well, she wanna live right there. Shit. I don't blame her. We got all kind of crap going on at home. Anywhere is a good place to escape. Yeah, we still got that Jafar nigga that's trying to be her husband and shit and oh. take her family's inheritance. Dad seemed cool. Oh, Grizzly Adams. when everything went uh, left right there. Okay. He done cooked the chicken. Yep. <laughs> that chicken was just minding his business too now. I'll be down. Are you crazy? Your wounds haven't even healed yet. They're healed. Look at that. They're almost gone. Oh, well. Wow. So you on the same shit, Ellen, on. These niggas is mutants. Where do you think you're going? I'm going to defeat Vittorio, collect the innocents, and then be on Now, yeah, sure. Okay. And how do you plan to do that? Every time you cut him with your Mugen, he regenerates. I'll figure something out. I've got Mugen? troubling news. Multiple Akuma were just spotted ambushing the ruins again and are fighting with Vittorio. Huh? Let him fight. Mm -hmm. Let him fight. Stop it, Conda. You haven't completely recovered. Why don't you rest for another day and then go back tomorrow? You know I can't. You want them to steal the innocence while I'm here taking a nap? We can hold them back. Oh, that's reassuring. <laughs> Just believe in us. <laughs> Lena Lee and myself. And Vittorio. We saw how that went. Vittorio. He won't make it easy for the Akuma to defeat him. He can't afford to. That's why the innocence will stay in his possession. You've got a point. If enough Akuma work together and overwhelm him, then Claudia will be in danger. Lena Lee and I could be there in a matter of seconds to protect her safely. So please, just stay here and rest. Try thinking of a strategy for collecting the innocents inside Vittorio's sword. Try thinking? <laughs> you giving me orders now? Of course. Oh, wow. Sorry, Claudia. <laughs> but right now, your brain is your best asset. Oh, so my God. <laughs> right. Pedro, keep an eye on him. One of them off the screen slaps. Oh! No, this dude just be going stupid with it. 
Yeah! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that bitch slap had knocked him down the sides, man. Knock all the confidence out his ass. Uh, a cooler is that? A casket? Yeah. You know what we haven't seen in a while though? We haven't seen that evolved Akuma like that. Well, technically that girl and those three, mm -hmm. but something on the same level as that first Akuma that came across. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. You don't have to fight any longer. The fact is Princess Sandra died a very long time ago. You were never told and now a thousand years of pointless fighting has gone by. Do you hear me? The princess is shit. alive, and it is her wish that I continue to fight in her honor. Did it she tell you that, though? Cater to her wishes, no matter how extreme the request. Come, please wake up to reality. There's no one for you to protect. Your fight is over. It's never over. Ha! <laughs> 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 what? Right. Look at arm still look a little dinged up. You loved Princess Sandra. That's why you don't want to let her go. No one is faulting you for that. I serve the princess. I follow the orders that are given to me. Nothing more. This is a big misunderstanding. He thinks you're Princess Sandra. Please, you've got to help us. You're the only one who's able to stop it. Yeah, say something. Hell. Either do something now or this will never end. You'll be stuck with him forever. No! Is that what you want? <laughs> Maybe it is. Wow. Vittorio saved me from a life I didn't want. Exactly. I could no longer make a single decision on my own. I had to think about so that. I forgot about Mustache Man. At first I was scared. He frightened me and I didn't understand his purpose. I expected the worst, but all he would do was report to me and quietly leave the house. And then everything was different. One night he appeared before me in my room and asked me a question. Why are you crying, my lady? My mother's forcing me to marry someone I do not love. <laughs> Why didn't you go kill him? <laughs> right. I guess she don't want to see the dude get killed. Just stay the fuck away from me. Why can't you realize that all of your fighting just puts Claudia's life in danger? What keeps Vittorio alive also attracts Akuma. You'll never have a chance in a normal life being anywhere near him. Ooh. I don't know why she just won't leave the village completely. you're coming with me. Oh man, this man. I welcome your challenge. Oh my god, again, nigga? Let him get got this time, because uh, he don't learn. Right in the shoulder game, too, now. He don't learn. Seriously. Okay, get in close, then. What did you do, cut his head off? What did he hit? Oh, his arm? He refused to give up his sword. <laughs> Is that going to regenerate? I don't know. I don't think, since he doesn't have the sword in his hand, I don't think it will. Well, what y'all doing with these Soul Calibur style cutscenes, man? Little flash frames. It's like when you accidentally hit me with something. Like, oh! Mm -hmm. 
but this shit is a little disorienting. I'm afraid of losing. No, it's something else I want to lose. The day I lose is the day the pain will finally end. Is this how the innocents found him? Oh, I, I can't handle it if she becomes wife with another man. I can't lose. I want to keep winning for the rest of eternity. Yeah, it's the same thing that happened with uh, my girl, Miranda. You remember her uh -huh. when we did the clock? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So this is how the innocence finds them. It's like a deep prayer or something. Yeah, nigga, hair turning gray. He Asian. Let's go someplace quiet, just you and I. Woo! Shit. Got that Albert Einstein on point. I have a confession. I know you are not Princess Sandra. I knew she passed away centuries ago. However, fighting for you was one of the well. greatest honors of my life. <laughs> You're talking like this you live for yourself, just when they cut like back. So many years ago. Oh, it's hard. No. Yeah, it's time for you to face these issues head on, my girl. They can't protect you forever, man. There's only so much a simp can do. But. Three days later, Claudia returned to the Sardini family's residence and packed up her belongings before leaving again. Mm -hmm. She chose to decide the course of her own life in the end, just as he had wished. Good old Claudia. Yeah. Man, that's how it be, though, man. It's like one minute you're betrothed to somebody that you don't love, and the next minute you're trying to decide if you want to go along with it or just keep it moving, man, because there are so many instances where I always think about stuff like that. What do these people truly want? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's one of the reasons why she was behind him this whole time. Victoria was just, you know, safeguarding her and keeping her away from the harsh reality that she... It's almost like both of them were running from the harsh realities that they wanted. Right. You know, that they didn't want to yeah, face. Yeah, it's like he knew all along, oh, um, whatever their first princess name was, was dead. Mm -hmm. And she didn't want to have to go back home and face the reality that she was going to have to marry that dude. So, you know, but in the end, she decided to live for herself. Exactly. And that's the way you got to do it sometimes, man. I kind of wish it would have went with a better resolution. I'm not sure if they're going to um, harp on this anymore because... The dad, he was already feeling some type of way about that dude when he had offered up a certain percentage of their family's royalties or whatever like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, damn, there has to be something more to that. We're going to see it pay off in some kind of way where the dad's going to realize that this isn't the man that he wants his daughter to get married to. You know what I'm saying? Because the dude was just shady. And I wanted to see him get his comeuppance. I wanted to see Victorio stab him or cut off half of his mustache and make him run up, you know, hightail it out of there, you know? Would have been nice to see. Yeah, I'm not going to rule out the possibilities, though, man. That was a good thing. You know, that was a good episode regardless or a good arc. Um, if I were to rate this one, I'll give it an A+. Plus. Like, I'm enjoying the poetic nature of these episodes. You know, it's like very, I don't know, it just seems like a very poetic and kind of like heartfelt kind of thing the way they do these stories what do you what would you give it I think I get on a B plus a B plus mm -hmm. alright there you have it guys an A plus and a B plus man uh, but anyways we're gonna go ahead and keep the ball rolling and get into the next episode so let's get it when it's finished this nigga I don't even want to hear any kind of experiment that he has You two seem to be having such fun. What are you talking about? You know how much I love to come to the station. We'll just catch up with you in a bit. Hey. Thanks, Russell. We'll chat soon. Lena Lee. 
What was all that about, dear? I already forgot. I'll see you later, okay? Yeah, why did the face turn red just then? Suspicious. What could my sweet Lena Lee be hiding? Tentacles? Is it? Yeah. It looks like you oh, Lena Lee's love. I'm tripping. Oh, what the hell was you saying? I don't know why it's like the front threw me off. I thought there was a T. Hey, let's go. Sailor June in his bitch. Oh no, I was dead. Lena Lee, where you off to? Just to town to do some shopping. That is, if my brother here will let go of me. That's not a good plan. So you can let go of me and give me your credit card. Right. She finna go meet up with Ling Zhao Yu and Alicia Biskanovich, man. Go do a little shopping, man. Excuse me, Chief, but I think it's time we got to work. Stop being a cock block, bruh. Hey, uh, where's Mr. Russell? You give me a dress like that. Exorcists. Where are they? Can nobody see this big motherfucker? For real. What? For real. For real. <laughs> God damn. Yes, sis. She didn't even know. Bite his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it like a woman in the face would sound like a dude? Like, right. Oh, a Miss Pac Man. The most disrespected Akuma up in this it's shit. Shameful. I am an Akuma. When I was at level one, I was able to take human life quite easily. But at level two, I haven't killed even a single one. Wow. What am I doing wrong? Can you build? I must pull myself together! After all, I do have a perfect Like so from Toys R Us. Now transform! You can see it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Kevin? <laughs> uh oh. Maybe he ain't that cute. That is not how dogs work. Dogs right. don't give a shit what you look like. They exactly. go by your aura. A real dog would have bit him. <laughs> is it possible that the perfection of this valuable skill has caused me to lose all of my? Oh no, it can't be true. Really? I managed to get this picture of an exorcist. I'll kill her and bid farewell to my old pathetic self. So you gonna keep your human looks? I might try to get with that though. Wow, she's pretty. Try to clap them cheeks. <laughs> Destroy her that way. Yeah. Just saying. So pathetic after all. Really? We're going straight Looney Tunes on her? What's happening? Of course. <laughs> I don't feel like watching this episode because every time this nigga is involved, stupid shit nothing happens. happens but stupid shit. And they're probably not gonna notice this nigga at all. Targets locked on. Lena Lee Russell. Cause they're probably gonna get into a tug of war, him and that Akuma. I don't understand. Mama, what's that? Shh. Come on. Yeah, they don't even want to acknowledge the stupid shit. <laughs> That's funny. Filthy octopus! Trying to put his hands all over my sweet Lena Lee! And you notice this, we always have episodes like this during, like after a conclusion after a major, of an yeah. arc. <laughs> what the fuck? How is that thing plugged up? Like, is it to have like a, a USB charger or something on it? Let go of me! I have to kill him! Hey. I have to kill that Please, Chief, you're going to have to calm down. Using Sir Common like this could easily destroy the town if you're not careful. Your sister and Russell are just walking around together and talking. That doesn't mean they're dating, does it? <laughs> Do they look like they just happen to run into each other? <laughs> you know Russell has a son, don't you, Chief? That means he's probably way too old to make a move on Lena Lee. Wouldn't right. You say? That don't mean shit. Unless you're trying to Let's give her another one. Let's just see, okay? Or she trying to give him give another, him another, another one. one. Exactly. <laughs> it looks like a shop for men's clothes. Oh, I knew it! They're dating! 
you can't know that what? based on what kind of store they walked into, Chief! <laughs> May I help you? Do you know, you baggy ass pants, man. Certainly, miss. Oh, this too. Them is all ugly. Man, them know all them Kira ties, man. Let me see. <laughs> they haven't noticed that I'm an Akuma. I'm able to fool even the exorcists. Bro, you're a lame. You're not even acknowledgeable. Very, very perfect. Even in your Akuma oh, form. Oh, oh, oh. Like everybody has their own ulterior motives. <laughs> the end, bro. Why is he coming up with all these damn big ass devices and explosions? Kablooey. Here's my chance. No. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, that's a spicy meat to boil. He must have ate some Taco Bell. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Mr. Russell, come in here. They don't see this nigga. The people across the street stalking them don't see him. Yes, that's a very good choice. Or is she trying to find something for her brother. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Sexy Squidward! Geo dude, okay. <laughs> Just give it a rest. Uh-oh. Damn you, Chief, I'm getting super sleepy. Jeez. I'm just glad in this episode they are trying to stop him. Right. <laughs> Man, this has been happening all day. Sheesh. Ooh. Enough is enough. You have to stop this. I keep the game for the quickly. No, no more. <laughs> Don't worry. It's probably just a blackout. Now what y'all noticing this nigga? I'm sure the lights will come back on soon. Oh wow, so you actually got him. Turn off the lights. Prepare to die. Huh? Oh shit, she might like that. I know he ain't. What are you doing in town? Man, pull out a pistol on that nigga. Initiating launchpad sequence. Oh snap! Got the Zords. This is straight Power Rangers, man. Super Sentai mode. Let's go. Wow. Combination initiated. I'm the only one who falls on her. Well, I. Huh? Yes, that shit's just gonna surface through the ceiling or the, uh, the floor. I thought so. <laughs> go, Dexter, man, we go. Right. Please tell me y'all gonna pay for the bill. Collateral demise. Seriously. Is that the main, is that the real one or is? I have no idea. I think the real one's still tied up. Hey. Knock his ass into that billboard again, please, so he can be stopped. Change, well, it ain't gonna matter. <laughs> Why are you like he didn't change into one of them? Right? Right, you like one of them damn lady. children of Noah or something. Or family of Noah. Come on. Bobby, you've got to help us stop the chief. I, I 
<laughs> Boy, yo, dog, I got you an octopus within an octopus. <laughs> now it's funny. We don't acknowledge that people are probably staying in those houses, let alone that there are children in there too. I. These episodes are like just. I don't know. There's less damage when they're actually fighting real Akuma versus when this dude is around. Thank you. Yeah, I don't care what you do. I won't accept it, Lena Lee. You, Russell, can't be your boyfriend. My boyfriend? You think Mr. Russell is? Where in the world did you come up with that? Uh huh. You told me on a secret date. I saw it all with my own eyes. The horror. Okay, I'm running all crooked and shit. What's this? I was coming up with a surprise for this idiot. That's what I thought. That's what I said. I asked Mr. Russell to come with me to help pick something out for you. And then I thought I would return the favor by helping him find a really nice present for his son, John. What did I say? Mm -hmm. I certainly wish you'd told me all of this sooner. Yo, it's so hard headed and destructive. Safe to say we're down here. Mr. Russell, I'm sorry for the trouble my brother is in. That ain't the real Mr. Russell. No problem. <laughs> Thank you. And I believe we did have a deal, so let's go and find that present for John. At last, I can finally kill her. Yeah, let's go. Now, did this transformation wear off? Oh, finally! Finally. <laughs> <laughs> That's so messed up. Don't worry, everyone. I'm here. <laughs> Thank With you, the octopus on his head. Yeah. I mean, that's a cool hat. Why y'all laughing? It's like a, a joke, Russell? customized Tekken character. Mr. Russell is just fine. I'm so glad. But why do you think that Akuma was just targeting me? I really have no idea. <laughs> Come on, man. How are you gonna knock over the Eiffel Tower? Thank you, Jesus. Seriously. I wonder if the. We're gonna have Robo Buddy the Fourth on the next episode, huh? Seriously. Or after the next arc. <laughs> Yeah. The Leaning Tower of Eiffel. <laughs> the Trifling Tower. Alright, I can't say I'm satisfied with that episode, but it was funny. Yeah, I was so. going to say, there's not much to say about that one. It didn't really progress the storyline. I think it was just kind of, I don't want to say a filler, but Pretty kind much of a filler, you know. Not, like a not one too off. much really just happened there. So, I mean, it was, it was funny. I do like that this time they did try to fight him and stop him. They tried least. to, yeah, I mean, you know, they, they did destroy the machine and, you know, beat him over the top of the head when he was trying to do something stupid. So I can appreciate that more about this episode than the last time something like this happened. Yeah, I do too, man. Like, we can tell though, it's like every time a major arc ends, we get something stupid after. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if that's just going to be like a common thing on this show or maybe they was just doing this as the writer put whatever they put in the manga you know the manga was probably still going up you know apparently it's still ongoing they just took a hiatus or something like that but yeah i gotta give this episode a c plus i'll give it a b minus b minus there you have it gonna be nice man but that's all we have for this i can't really say much on it because there's not really much to say yeah, not you know. too much to say about this one. Yep, but yeah, guys, uh, we hope you enjoyed this reaction because as always, we have a blast reacting to them for you and with you. Uh, hopefully, you guys will feel free to provide any kind of context or explanations on things we may have missed in the comment section below. And yeah, 
But this is your boy RBG, aka the Red and Black Gamer. Here are my lovely wife, Jenna Lee, on the ones and twos. We'll catch you guys on the next reaction to The Gray Man. Peace.